Hello and welcome to ICON. This video provides a short introduction to ICON workspaces and shows how to search for and extract data from ICON. For this video, we're using the desktop app version of ICON, but the examples should work the same way when using the web access route. When you first open ICON, you'll notice that it's made up of a number of pieces. The thin ICON bar that runs across the top, plus different screens and apps that make up the workspace below. In the upper left-hand corner of the ICON bar is an orange circle with three white lines. It's the ICON icon. If you click the ICON icon, it opens a menu with lots of options and apps. These apps are what make up the rest of ICON, and they can be combined in various ways to create a workspace. We've created a simple welcome workspace for the purpose of this video that shows the Home app. The Home app is a great starting place featuring the latest news, opinions, and thought pieces, but it has a lot of other things as well. It's definitely worth exploring, but in this video we're going to focus on two search strategies. The first is the navigation bar within the Home app. This is the set of tabs that runs across the top of the screen. When you hover over them, they open different menus. They're an easy way to drill into icon, especially when you're unsure of what you're looking for. The other tool we're going to use is the search bar. You'll notice on the home app there are two search fields. There's one next to the home label and there's one in the icon bar. You may wonder what's the difference. If you search using the search on the home app, you change the screen to whatever you search for. If you search using the icon bar search, icon opens the new screen with the search for item. You can search for anything, a term, a phrase, or even a question. I'm going to start typing and you'll see that as I type, icon Icon guesses what I'm looking for. It uses predictive text and it's very powerful. I've started to type Amazon and on the left of the list of options, Icon tells me what kind of data the option is. This is a fund, this is an index, and this is an equity. And it's the equity I want, Amazon.com. I'm going to select that and Icon opens a screen. But as you see, the screen doesn't show. That's because it opens behind the screen I'm currently on. If I minimize this app, I'll find the Amazon overview screen. The overview has a lot of information, including a business summary, headline numbers for the day, a chart that shows how Amazon compares to its index, and much more. We're going to scroll back to the navigation bar, and I'm going to demonstrate some of the tabs. The first app is a balance sheet, and that is found under the financials tab in the middle of the navigation bar. The balance sheet opens an app with lots of data. To change the screen, click on the cog wheel to open the options. We're going to change the number of periods from 5 to 10. And you can see in this instance that period equals one year because annual is selected. When I update the view, suddenly I have a lot more data. Now I have all these numbers, but what can I do with them? There are two things. You can click on the chart icon in the upper right corner of the balance sheet to open a chart of the data. If I want to work with the data, I can export it to Excel by clicking the Excel icon next to the chart icon. Once the data exports, you'll get a message saying the download is complete. Click open. While that's opening, you may get an error message about the file format not matching. Just click yes. And there you have the data in an easy to use format. I'm going to close the Excel sheet and go back to icon. From the Overview app, we're going to look at another tab. Near the end of the navigation bar is the Peers and Valuation tab. In the middle of that menu, select Value Chains. Because Amazon is involved in many different industries, there's a wide variety of companies listed. You can sort based on any of these column headers. Let's click on the Industry to reorganize the companies. You can also select to the left of the name which companies you want to look at. Or you can open other filters on the left. You can see more data by scrolling back to the right. A different way to view this information is through an industry breakdown. On the far right is an icon that looks like a bow tie. If we click it, we see the suppliers and customers of Amazon. We can drill down into this information by clicking the label. We can also look at this information through a geographic breakdown. Click the globe icon to open a map that shows company locations. If I hover over the colored circles, I get an industry breakdown in that location. If I click the circle, it opens a bottom screen with specific company information. We can export all of this to an Excel sheet as well. The last tab I'm going to show you is the Price and Charts tab near the left-hand side of the navigation bar. At the bottom of the menu, select Financial Chart to plot the data for your chosen security against a range of variables. We're going to look at this briefly so you can see what it looks like. But if you want more information about charts, there's another video in our Icon Essentials series 
ways you can view. That's it for now. I'm going to return to the icon bar and the icon icon. By clicking that and selecting close, I can close all of icon. I hope you feel more comfortable using icon. If you have any questions, please contact us at our infolib email.